All right. Hello, everyone. GameCube 017, and great news, I finally got the files up. Uh, I gotta talk kinda quiet, and it sounds not that great, because I'm doing this from class. Not, I'm not in class, but whatever. Anyways, yeah, let's pull this up so we can see more. Um, okay, so, um, the files are on Mega Upload right now. So you can go get those in the description of this video and of all the other videos. This is for the East West Quantum Leap Orchestra, the free samples, if you want to play with them. Um, so when you get the install, when you get the three zip files, the zip file, each zip file is going to come with an EXE and it's going to come with, I think, a sample and an instrument folder or a samples folder. So, you have to install the first EXE, and sorry, I've only got it for Windows 32-bit, so for everyone's on Mac, uh, use Parallels or whatever. But anyway, um, you install this, and I'm not going to run it because it kind of lags when I run it for some reason, but basically it's a basic installer. You just click next, 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 I agree, next. Tell it where you want to install it, and it's going to... Put the samples in the root of C by default. And what I mean by the root of C is, you know, just go to uh, my computer and then go to C and you see that's the wrong one. You see it right here. Sample instruments. I ignore this folder. I don't know why that's there. I think that was a misinstall. But you get <coughs> the the exe is just to set up the uh, player, the sample player. The second two parts, the second two parts. I don't have the zip files on here, so I can't open them. Unfortunately, actually, actually I do. Hold on a second. Let me uh, go ahead and open part two so I can tell you what I mean. So the second part, right? The second part holds this installer, you don't need to run that though. You don't need to run that. You just need to take this sample folder from part two and part three. Take this sample folder, go to where your root folder is. Where is it? Go to where it installed the first one, EWQL Orchestra Library, and then take that sample folder and merge it with this sample folder. And then you take the sample folder from the third part and merge it with this sample folder and then you'll have all your sounds. Otherwise, if you just install the first part, if you just install the first part, it'll work, it should work, but what'll happen is you'll try to load a bunch of sounds and they won't load because this instrument folder right here holds all the patch names so that the play engine can find them, but the actual samples are in here. So when you open part two, go back to work. When you open part two, what is it? Oh, stop that. When you go part two and three, you don't need this. This just installs it for you. So to get around the confusion, just ignore this file and go into samples, and you'll see the next set of samples. And this is, and it's the exact same for part two and part three. Um, the VST plugin. If you want to find, eh. If you want to find the actual, where the actual play engine itself is stored, it is in program files, in east, west, and there it is, the EMUQL Symphonic Orchestra. But you see that's the play engine. And there's all the documentation and whatnot. So, again, the uh, content and stuff is in the uh, description. And I hope that was helpful to you. As in explaining, oh, a note, you have to, if you're on 7 and XP, or 7 and Vista, you have to turn off user access control. Because otherwise it will not work. Um, the Play VST, that's, you can run this in standalone mode or you can run it in VST mode. The VST plugin. I don't know where you put your VST plugins, but by default, all the VST plugins go in here. And 
The VST is not called East West Quantum Leap Orchestra the Note. It's called Play underscore VST dot DLL. That's what it's called. Because it's the play engine, not the symphonic orchestra engine. They might call itself that, but no. This is what it is. Play VST. Right here. Right here. So, it's going to ask you where you want to put that in the installer. And I hope that was helpful. Again, sorry for the poor audio. But, um, that's what happens when I'm in school right now. I don't have my actual headset or anything. I'm just sitting in the uh, public area. People think I'm talking to myself over here. So, it's all good. Alright, peace out guys. <coughs> Till next time.